Welcome back to Daytime. What are you doing with your tax refund this year? One expert says, don't save your tax refund. Go spend it. Sound unwise? Well, it's true. John P. Strelicki says it makes better sense to stop, stop saving for the future retirement and just go do the things you want to do right now. He is the author of the uh, national bestseller, The Why Cafe, and he joins us right now. Good to have you here. Thank you. Great to be here. You Great say just here. go spend your money, spend your refund. Spend your refund, yeah. Why? Well, you know, if you look at uh, a couple of big factors, one is because my personal philosophy is that life is for living. And so the reason that you work, the reason that you make this money is to spend it on things that matter to you. So I'm not saying just go spend it on something crazy that doesn't mean anything to you. So if you're going to spend it on something that 30 days from now or a year from now, you won't even remember what you spent it on, don't do that. But spend it on a bucket list item. Spend it on what I call a big five for life item, something you really want to do. Create an amazing memory. Well, John, you know, it's funny. We had, we had somebody on here the other day saying quite opposite <clears throat> of what to, of what you're saying, but I have to admit, when I first read that you were coming on, I thought, wow, you know, this doesn't sound right. But now that you kind of laid it out there like that, I'm the type to do that bucket list thing. I'm the type to say, my gosh, if I go tomorrow, I'll be happy that I did what I did. So I'm kind of I'm kind of on your side right now. Well, and the numbers back <laughs> it up. I'll tell you that uh, if you'd have invested your five thousand dollar tax return in January of two thousand, and you said, well, no, I'm going to invest it, right? I'm going to I'm going to put it out there so I can have a whole bunch of good stuff later on. Your $5,000 is now worth about, uh, let's see, just a little under $4,000 because the market's declined 21% over the last 11 years for the S&P 500, which is the benchmark everybody uses. And so, you know, even if the market goes up at a historical level, here's the thing. If you're a 43-year-old mom and dad, you got two kids, and you're thinking, all right, do I take them on an amazing three-week trip out west for the summer? We have that once-in-a-lifetime trip, or do I wait? You can either spend the $5,000 now, have the amazing experience with your kids, or you can wait the 23 years until you're 65, and that money will only be worth a little over $10,000. Okay, now hold on a second, though, because you're talking about just investing it. But let's talk about paying down some debt. You know, if you don't pay down some debt, you're not going to have anything to spend later. Yeah, everybody's situation is different, right? right? So if you're sitting on a whole bunch of credit card debt, then paying down your credit card debt is probably going to be something that, uh, that may be a bucket list item for you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Get out of credit card debt, right? Um, so everybody's situation is a little bit different. But in terms of just the pure, got this return, what am I going to do with it? Do something amazing. Okay, so you're kind of saying spend on your bucket list items, but in moderation. Don't be unwise. Don't be stupid about what you're doing. Yeah, everybody's got their own version of stupid. I, I, <laughs> I backpacked around the world because I thought that was a great way to spend my, you know, my tax return type stuff. And so, you know, everybody's got their own version of that. Does this go into the, the conservative, liberal way of looking at things? Because, again, sometimes when people say to me, oh, you know, you got to pack this away for a rainy day and... I, again, I, I'm kind of like the now guy. I'm yeah. not Mr. Right. I'm Mr. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know? There you go. Uh, and, and, you know, I'm not sure if it's a conservative, liberal, or just a saver versus a spender mentality, but I used to be, I bought into the whole, like, I'm going to put the money away, I'm going to save, and I think there's some value to that. But the whole philosophy of I'm going to put it away and it's going to grow, 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 because I come from such a strong business background, when you look at it, it doesn't grow, grow, grow that big. Right. Right? And so the point is, you're going to do it now, or you're going to wait 23 years to probably do it twice, you know? And I'd rather do the amazing experience now than wait 23 years to possibly do it twice. You know, when you look at some of the statistics here, um, a recent uh, survey from Charles Schwab came out, and it said actually 19% plan on indulging on a bucket list item or something along those lines. Yeah. Are you surprised by that percent, um, or did you think it would be a little bit lower? I, I would think it would be a little bit higher. Quite frankly, <laughs> if people look at their, their statement returns, Right, so that your money has declined 21% over the last 11 years. I think there'd be more people going, I'm going to spend it now. I'm going to have the experience now. So the other startling statistic I came across, this one blew my mind. If you were a male born in this country, right, there's a 20% chance you will never make it to 65. Really? Isn't that staggering? Yeah, that is. That's, that's unfortunate. All of a sudden, I feel different. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> so did I. But, you know, one of the things you said to us uh, prior to going on air was, you know, a lot of people are getting to that age where they look back and go, what the heck was I thinking? Why didn't I do what I wanted to do? So, uh, to your point, I, I'm on. I'm I'm with you on this. I think enjoy your life while you can, and those kids can take care of themselves, really. <laughs> and I say, no, spend in moderation. <laughs> Be smart about it. John Easter, lucky. Thank you so much for for coming here. We appreciate it. Thank you. It's been a treat. And you can go to daytimeonline.tv, and we will link you um, to uh, his website. Absolutely, and more daytime when we return. Morgan and Morgan.